Jeopardy has finally chosen its permanent hosts. And no, it's not Steve Harvey, he's too busy doing every other game show. <laughs> it's actually gonna be Mayim Bialik and Ken Jennings. Yeah. That's really, really great for them. Congratulations to my man Ken, or as your grandfather calls them, not Alex Trebek and lady, not Alex Trebek. <laughs> In sports news, the NFL has announced that they're launching their own streaming service, which is fantastic, because I don't know about you guys, but we just don't have enough of them right now, you know? <laughs> and this app is apparently gonna have all of the pre-season games, which is kind of like paying to watch the story part in porn, but I guess that's what some people like. <laughs> so this is gonna be good. In politics news, Mike Pence says he's being treated differently now that he's no longer vice president and that he had to recently wait 25 minutes for a table at Olive Garden. <laughs> yeah, which sucks, yes, but on the upside, Trump supporters aren't trying to kill him anymore. So I mean, huh, huh? Pros and cons, pros and cons. I will say, it is a little wild to me that Mike Pence even goes to Olive Garden. Like, I think it's dangerous to eat at an Olive Garden when you look so much like a breadstick. <laughs> Like, oh, sorry, sorry, sir, sorry. <laughs> and of course, of course, I'm sure you've all heard the sad news. After nearly 40 years, Klondike is discontinuing the Choco Taco. <laughs> yeah, it's not me, it's not me, it's them. I know, it's outrageous. The Choco Taco is the perfect American fusion of cultures, <laughs> right? It's, it's Mexican and sugar. <laughs> and how are you gonna get rid of the Choco Taco before getting rid of the popsicle, huh? Nobody likes those, this is dildos that give you brain freeze, come on! <laughs> but anyway, let's move on to some of the bigger news stories of the day. And we're gonna start off with the Catholic Church, the world's number one manufacturer of atheists. The Catholic Church <laughs> has made many, many positive contributions to society in the fields of art and science and philosophy, and if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have come up with the smoke machines in the club, you know? But. <laughs> The church has also done some bad things over the last, say, 2,000 years. <laughs> Which is why, in a really positive development, Pope Francis is seeking absolution for the church's sins. On his first full day in Canada, Pope Francis delivered a historic apology for the, quote, evil committed by so many Christians against indigenous people. At the site of a former residential school in the Canadian city of Masquerchies, Pope Francis was greeted with sacred drumming and dance, rituals the church once sought to erase for around a century. More than 150,000 native children were taken from their families to attend government-funded residential schools, most of them run by the Catholic Church. They faced rampant neglect physical and sexual abuse while being forced to assimilate. It was here the Pope issued a historic apology. I am here because the first step of my penitential pilgrimage among you is that of again asking forgiveness. Man, you know what, say what you want. I love this Pope, I really do. Yeah, because ever since he's come into office or into power or <laughs> ever since he's gotten the gig, what do they even say? <laughs> Whatever it is, he's done a really good job of trying to right the Catholic Church's wrongs. You know, he's reached out to other faiths. He said gay people can get into heaven. And don't forget, he added a pop and lock to the sign of the cross. You know, just like, oh, me no no spirit, oh, me no no <laughs> On top of that, on top of that, he's apologizing to indigenous people in Canada for the role the Catholic Church played in trying to erase their culture. I'm glad he's doing that. It also must have been a shock to Canadians, you know? Someone coming and apologizing to them? You just be like, I'm sorry? It's like, no, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry! <laughs> and you know, beyond the Pope, yeah, the Pope is great in all of this, but you know who the heroes of the story are? The indigenous people, yeah. For not just speaking to the Pope, but for forgiving him, even letting him wear their traditional headdress. That was amazing. It was gracious, you know? <laughs> Unless they were just setting him up for a trap. You know, it's like, we let bygones be bygones, please accept this headdress, snap photo, and you're canceled, mother <laughs> We've got you, cultural appropriation. <laughs> they didn't do that, but it would have been funny. Now, uh, apparently, in addition to the apology, the church has also agreed to pay a settlement for what they did, which I think is fantastic, especially on the tribe for actually insisting on it. You know, because so many people's lives have been destroyed, and a generation was thrust into poverty. So, uh, sorry is nice, but money goes a long way. 
Yeah. In fact, you know what? They should put, I'm sorry, in the caption of the Venmo payment. That's what they should do. <laughs> and not just the church, not just the church. Yeah, I think this should be for everyone. All those governments around the world, you know, who've stolen land from people. Like, in Africa, we've seen this all the time, right? England is always like, we're so sorry, we pillaged and plundered your country of all your natural resources. And Africans are like, oh, okay, okay, can we have our diamonds back? And it's like, oh, but they're already in the crown, yeah. <laughs> but we can't take it out, we can't. A crown without jewels, that's just a hat, oh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm glad. Do something about it. Oh, and speaking of people uh, who are gonna need to apologize for a lot in the future, Vladimir Putin, back in the news. Oh, I guess he's never left. Ever since he decided to inherit Eastern Ukraine, Russia <laughs> and the rest of Western, you know, the rest of the West, really, have been going through the 21st century's most savage breakup. All right, there's been threats, uh, there's been sanctions, and just today, Russia rarely escalates tensions by making big cuts to the amount of gas that it will send through its pipelines to Europe. Yeah. Now, they're saying that this is because of mechanical issues. Yeah. But I'm sure this is mechanical issues, the same way someone breaks up with you because you deserve better. <laughs> you know? Yeah, just be honest and say you can't see a future with someone who wears Crocs to nice restaurants, Debbie! <laughs> Justin Bieber wears them now. Anyway, on top of all of that, Russia has decided to extend this beef into space. This just into CNN. Russia says this morning that it is preparing to pull out of the International Space Station. That's a big deal. A space agency official told Vladimir Putin it will leave the ISS, quote, after 2024. This withdrawal would be a major blow to the ISS, which has served as a model for international cooperation for decades. Russia says it will start building its own orbiting outpost instead. Wow, Russia is officially pulling out of the International Space Station, which nobody asked them to do. We said pull out of Ukraine, not the space station. <laughs> this is a Google Translate issue, what's going on here? <laughs> and you might not realize this, but this is actually bad news because Russia helps to operate the space station, which I didn't know about. <laughs> no, what I mean, like, I don't know about you, but am I the only one who's shocked by how many things are connected to Russia in the world? Right? Like the world's energy supply, uh, Africa's food supply, space travel, minerals for our electronics. Soon we're gonna find out that Russia provides the sound for sneezes and without them, we can't complete the action. Huh? Huh? <laughs> no chew for you. <laughs> and by the way, I don't know why they call it an international space station. It doesn't seem very international. It's basically just Russians and Americans up there. There are like 200 other countries in the world. It's not an international space station. Like, how come there are no African countries up there, huh? Why? Because we'd start playing soccer and accidentally kick the ball through the window and everyone would get sucked into space? I mean, that's a fair <laughs> point, but still, why? <laughs> so yeah, the Russians are leaving the space station. And although they think this is pretty cool, good luck to them making a dramatic exit when there's zero gravity. <laughs> So, you better remember, don't mess with Vladimir Putin unless you want to feel the full force of Mother Russia. That's right, you cannot mess with us. Ha ha! Okay, can somebody push me towards the door? Push me. Just, just push me towards, push me towards, I can, I want to make dramatic exit. This, okay, this is not exit I was hoping for. Just, I'm just floating around like idiot right now, just. Okay, imagine you're crying and I'm gone, bitch. Imagine, imagine the pain. Imagine the pain. All right. That's it for the headlines. But before we go, let's check in on the traffic with our very own Roy Wood Jr., everybody. Oh, yeah. yeah. What's going on, Roy? What's, What's going on? Man? Good to see you. How you feeling today, yeah, man? Yeah, I feel good, man. I yeah? feel good, man. It's hot as hell outside. I mean, it's safe. You, you feel safe? Yeah, I'm, it's safer when, especially with the traffic and stuff, it's much safer when it's hot. Like, cause it, it, that, that's why people like, you know, that's, that's why like drive-by shootings got invented, cause it was too hot to get out the car. <laughs> it's less road rage. It's less road, when it's hot, it's less road rage. So nobody wanna get out the car to fight. <laughs> you ever get out the car to, to whoop somebody's ass? You be like, ooh, shit, and you get back in the car. <laughs> Some stuff you just gotta let slide, man. You just gotta let it slide. Oh, nope. Oh, oh, real quick, real quick, man. Russia did what they were supposed to do. What? 
Yeah, Russia did exactly what, what, if somebody at your crib and they talking shit, just leave. <laughs> just leave. If somebody's talking crazy to you, you ain't gotta be around them, man. Just get gone. You ain't gotta put up with nobody talking, talking wild to you like that. And plus, America's stupid for doing that. We ain't got no space shuttle. We, we sold our space shuttle, so we ain't got no ride home. <laughs> Russia was our ride home. How you gonna talk shit to your ride home? <laughs> and now they gone? Uh, it's just gonna be a bunch of Americans sitting on the front porch of that space station just <laughs> waiting on Jeff Bezos to come pick him up in that dick rocket. So, the, you, know, the, you remember the dick rocket? I, I, Bezos had the dick rocket. That's yeah, what no, they want. I, I don't think he calls it a dick rocket, but I know what you mean. Yeah, that's what it looked like. I said dick rocket, you understood exactly I what I exactly. meant. <laughs> if you said Jeff Bezos' rocket, I also would have gotten it. You didn't have to include Any, Anyway, what's going on in the traffic, Roy? Choco Taco was trash. Let's just be real about that. It was a trash, it was a trash ass treat, man. It, it, it just, it didn't quite, like, everybody loves to be sad whenever they get rid of one of these treats. Oh, take my Choco Taco from me. If everybody who loved Choco Taco bought a Choco Taco as much as they talk about how much they love Choco Taco, they'd still have a damn Choco Taco. <laughs> but you didn't do that. You went and got sorbets and gelatos. Now your Choco Taco is damn gone, man. It was all right. No, it was beloved. Th that don't mean it was delicious. <laughs> It was just all right. It wasn't a classic. It wasn't no legendary ice cream treat. Let's be real about the Choco Taco. It wasn't legendary. It was all right. It wasn't, it, it wasn't no Nestle Crunch Bar. It wasn't no Flintstone Push Up. It wasn't no ice cream sandwich. The truth of the matter, Trevor, is that most of the foods we love, especially ice cream, we just attach to people that we had and built memories with while consuming that treat. You don't miss the Choco Taco. You miss your father, and he's gone. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> I, miss, I, miss, I miss my father. I'm a, I'm gonna I'm do the traffic. You don't, you don't have, no, you don't, Roy. No, no. No, I'm sorry, you don't have, this time I'm, you don't have to no, do the traffic. No, I'm gonna do the traffic. No. Yeah. I feel like this went, like, um, this is a lot of pain right now. We don't, don't, you don't have to do the traffic. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the traffic, you say. This is weird, because you're now, you're crying do and doing the traffic. traffic, it's gonna be weird. Because <laughs> now we, we're all thinking about your dad and... Are you sure you want to do this, Roy? Yeah. Okay, okay, you can, as long as you're good. Okay. Oh, didn't your dad drive a truck like that? <laughs> No, Roy! Roy with Junior, everybody.